So here, here's the question, as was phrased. As a normal uh, American man, I know by the age of 40 to 50, and, and I did not fact check. This is just how the question came in. So if these percentages are not right, that's fine. But We're we just know, reading a question. We know, we know this is an issue that, that men face. Nearly 80% of men will experience erectile dysfunction. One of the most leading causes of the issue is being under chronic stress environments for long periods of time. What suggestions do you have for a couple dealing with chronic stress that affects the bedroom? Um, which I thought is it's a great question. Mm-hmm. And we, we mentioned this earlier when we talked about sex drives. Is there, there are just times based upon seasons of life and pressures, and as is put in here by the question, a highlighted stress can be a big factor. Um, and so we had this question come in and we were, we were with some, we were with some friends of ours, very close friends of ours. And, um, the, the topic was, this was not what we were talking about. So we weren't just sitting down and talking about this. Um, but it was kind of like, just touched on briefly. And so we said, Hey, we've, we've got this episode coming up where we're going to be answering some questions. And we have this question come in. Do you mind just having a conversation about this? And yeah. they were like, no. Um, and, and the, the topic of the question was the little pills for men. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we just, we, we just had a conversation with this person and um so they kind of explained to us the situation and it was it was literally this situation here mm-hmm. chronic stress and and this is not the person who brought the question up um so it's just kind of interesting how this came together but um under a situ- a situation with a lot of stress and because of that he he was just having he, just sex drive was was gone um and so he he went and just had a and, and maybe this for this will be a help to this person here because we personally don't see anything wrong with taking some medication for this portion of your marriage or this season of mm-hmm. that time or whatever to help you out in this area. Um, I think medication can be a great thing, a healthy thing. That's right. In a lot of ways. So just kind of help this person along because maybe I didn't understand how it all worked and what you had to do or whatever. And so maybe you listening, you have that same question. So we said, just explain the whole process to me. How does this, how does this work? Um, So he said, you have set up a meeting with your doctor and for him it was a telehealth. So literally just a, a phone call talking about everything, what happened. And, um, they, blood work. Yep, had to get blood work done, test everything out, and then the, the doctor prescribed him his this medicine, and um, it basically comes in like a monthly subscription. Mm-hmm. So they they mail it to you in a discreet little thing mm-hmm. every month, charge you whatever it was, and it was it was I, I forget it was like ten bucks or something. I forget what it was. Um, and it's as needed. Exactly, it's, it's as needed. Like so you're not taking it all the time. time. It's, it's like, as hey, we know we're going out on a date tonight, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take my pill, and mm-hmm. then later on we can have our time together. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with this. There should not be shame. Um, a lot of what happens sexually um, has to do with what happens emotionally and um, mentally. And so a lot of times the, the issue isn't even physical. The issue is emotional or mental. And um, it's just really hard when, I mean, I know that for you, your sex drive went down went during times of severe depression. Yeah. Um, for others, it may be stress or it may be something else. But um, it's, it's not something that should be, um, you should be ashamed of or, you know, anything like that. But figuring out, okay, what do we need to do? to bring sex back into our lives what do we need to do and this is a great solution yeah and so this this pill helps your body to do what mentally your mind won't let it do right 
So it's to help you overcome that mental hurdle mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. Um, um, to be able to be able to have that time together. Yep. So maybe this is you and maybe you just need to check it out. Just mm-hmm. get you, get a hold of your doctor. Mm-hmm. Have If nothing else, just have the conversation with them. You can explain to them what's going on and say, hey, do you think this is a good option for me? Yep. And obviously, especially with this sort of medication, you do need to get your your blood work done. They check your heart and all that just to make sure you're not going to, you know, kill yourself. Yeah, right. Okay. 